So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Yeah, nice, strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. Full throttle, pedal to the metal, attacking basketball. I like that. Just call him the beer. James Harden, not just iconic, but also entering the conversation for the best player in the NBA. Yao, he's checked in for Golden State. Clay Thompson comes in for the Cobra. And then for the Clippers. And Stevenson's checked in for Pierce. And it's Austin Rivers in for Chris Paul. Thompson right side over Rivers. The good-looking shot from the wing. Seven points for Clay Thompson. And just a little bit ragged defensively there, Clark. And speaking of Harden and being the best, he'd certainly tell you so. He referred to himself as the best all-around player in the league. What do you think? And I think he's right in that category. A lot of people laughed him off when he said that, but he's been a legitimate MVP candidate. His defense has gotten better, and obviously his offensive game is off the charts. And how about that, responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own? Terrific little tay to tay going on right now. Back and forth. Here we go. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his second personal foul. Substitution on the court. Six seconds left here in the third quarter. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Warriors ahead. They finish off the third quarter with a tremendous 17-7 run. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up in what has been a one-sided show. And so here are the Clippers following this one. They get to host the Rockets. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Yao is out there with Anthony Davis. Then it's Thompson. Then it's Rose. And it's LeBron in at the small forward position. That's the Warriors' five. Let's go. And then... That one falls, coming off of Davis' speed. Davis has got three assists now in this one. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Warriors. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And also, I've been extremely impressed with their interior D. Their rim protection has been as good as it gets. He misses the free throw. Andre Jordan has been extremely productive over seven years. That makes it even more unbelievable that there was some question, Clark, as to his commitment to basketball coming into the league. Yeah, you know, on talent and athleticism alone, he would have been a top 10 pick for sure, but he slipped to the second round, and he's made good on it, though. And here's Iguodala outside. It's rebounded by Stevenson. The Clippers shooting 41% for the game. On the wing, Jamal Crawford takes the three. And that's collected by Bogut. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And watching DeAndre Jordan, he's really refined his game over the years without losing the athleticism. He's that rubbery, long-limbed athlete that transcends age. And so far, I've seen zero drop-off in his leaping ability and quickness but no question he's improved his skills and IQ. Cole Aldrich, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And here's Rose outside, no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Stevenson kicks to Rivers. There's Crawford with the three. Got it, number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. And talking about DeAndre Jordan, he is displaying an energy level that many scouts wondered if he had. Let's face it, he underachieved a bit in his one year in college. He knows that. But when it's come time to do it at the highest level, DeAndre has risen to the occasion.
And the Clippers call time here. And, and the Clippers not known for being an outside shooting team, but they take a large amount of deep mid-range twos as well as their fair share of three. For the Clippers, you think of Lob City and it's all dunks, but the reality is, Clark, as Greg was just talking about, that just isn't the case. It really isn't. I mean, they also led the league in pull-up shots attempted by a wide margin, about 24 pull-up Jays a game. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Guys, over that last break, I listened to Doc Rivers address his team. He said their plan was run their offense through Smith. Coach has a lot of faith in him offensively and let his players know it, insisting that he be at the forefront of what they do at that end of the court from here on out. With the minutes ticking down and the deficit still a big one, those adjustments have to be a chance worth taking, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. Golden State's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth. quarter from deep three-point range they get the rebound lebron passes to o'neal that one goes Come. plus eight in the rebound differential one more reason why they're in control yeah double digit advantage on the scoreboard they've taken the initiative they've played i think with more purpose so far martin with it And off there, he misses his first shot of the night. The Clippers have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. And the call will be against Kevin Martin. That is his first foul of the game. And something that's been whispered about around the NBA is expansion. We know there are some markets that want desperately to have an NBA team. The NBA might not be at 30 teams for the foreseeable future. Crawford drives in. That's good. Crawford's got five points now in the quarter. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Jamison kicks to Davis. Back to Jamison. Davis sets a screen. And Kevin Martin hits from deep. There are markets in the U.S. that want an NBA team. Seattle, which has been a great NBA friend, has been trying to get a team back since the Sonics left for Oklahoma City. Clearly, Seattle is the lead name domestically. The NBA has also talked about adding a European division. A lot of different options for expansion. Don't think any will be acted on anytime soon. Pablo Brigioni, he's checked in for Jamal Crawford. The Clippers have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. The drive by Paul, the kick out to Pierce. Releases. Rebound by Jamison. Jamison's got six rebounds now in the game. And James with the basket on the assist by Jamison. And it's all one-way traffic tonight, boy. They have been lights out offensively. <laughs> And there's no telling how big that lead's going to get. But, again, it's just one game, but nonetheless a very impressive one, the way they've handled their business here. They grab their own miss. Paul outside. He dishes it to Smith. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. That one's off. Still out of sync. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in control of this game. And, and no doubt about it, rebounding is an effort stat, folks. They've been more determined than their opponent thus far. And guys, something new for the NBA is the HGH testing that's been put in place. Uh, it's something the league hasn't had too many issues with or even accusations, but better to stamp it out early. And hard to argue that it should be in place. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Clay Thompson comes in for James. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for the Cobra. And Thompson kicks to Davis. Martin for three. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. 
Rose has got three assists now in this one. And with the HGH testing, it's done in every major sport. Seems like the right thing to do for the NBA. Just make sure everyone is on a level uh, playing field, so to speak. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, I think the punishment will be fair. First positive gets you a 20 game ban. The second one, 45. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Warriors. Tonight, they did a. Great job of getting everyone involved. They had the good passing, and that led to some open shots. Yeah, it's a fun way to play, and it's fun to watch, too. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight. Tonight's win will give them four on the season. And asserting themselves right from the start, guys. They'll be taking the front end of a four-game season series between these two clubs. They've got to feel good getting the upper hand tonight against the Clippers. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was for the Cobra. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. Rose dishes to Davis. That's a two from Martin. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. And they feel good about this win tonight, guys, defending their home court. I agree. Job well done. They gave these fans exactly what they wanted. Smith. Shot, no good. So Golden State will take it the other way. Davis, the pass to Martin. And another three for Golden State. Well, if it wasn't out of reach, it is now, thanks to that last little spurt. And why put the brakes on now? I just say keep on letting it fly. The drive by Jordan, and a strong finish with two hands. A signature slam right there from the big fella. How many of those have we seen before? Outside Rose, three-pointer. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. They poured it on tonight, Clark, a dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. I don't think they have anything but positives to take away from this win. Offensively, defensively, every aspect of the game, it all went right for them. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. LeBron, for so many years, a Doc Rivers coach team has stood between you and what you have always tried to achieve. Now, of course, Doc with a new team, and you shared a moment with him after the game. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Welcome back, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson. Got Shaquille O'Neal, got Kenny the Jet Smith. Without further ado, let's take a look at our Jordan player of the game. Talk about lighting it up in the second quarter. My word, that was just huge. And the impact carried them through the entire game. I don't know if there's a fan base that loves their star more than this crowd. Wow, I'm getting jealous. And he feeds off that support. Once they got behind him, he became unstoppable, man. His offensive performance was the main reason they walked out of here with the win tonight. You got a sense early on it was going to be a big game from him. His attitude, his swagger, it was B-I-G. He gave them an ultra-reliable option every time down the floor. And that wraps things up, folks. Thanks for joining us. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the rest of the 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. Good night, everybody. <laughs>